So today I'm going to show you how to achieve that orange and teal look that everybody loves nowadays. So why do we want to use orange and teal look? Because it's a complementary color which means it sort of create contrast in your video not just by using lighting or black and whites but this is the color. We use color to create contrast in our video. And why orange and teal? Like there's so many other colors because orange sort of represent our skin tone so it looks nice. Okay so over here we have WG Resolve 16. I've already sort of just uploaded my clip inside here, so we're gonna go to the color tab. As you can see, my video has sort of a overblown highlights and the shadows are just not as dark as I want them to be. So we're gonna go to the curve tab and go to the custom tab and sort of just bring down the shadows, give it that nice look. We don't want to overdo it or else it will, will lose uh, information. And also bring down the highlight just a tad bit and the mid tones to I like it like this so what we're gonna do now is go to color wheel tab and just bring up the saturation just a little bit I think I like it I think I like it at 65 yeah and then we're gonna go to the primary bars and just pull down the gap the blue bar gamma just a little bit to give it a yellowish look now we can we gonna add another serial node by using alternate S or you can just right click add node at zero node. It's the same thing. So now we're gonna use go to qualifier tab, press this and use the eyedropper tool and just highlight the blue parts. So now what we're gonna do is just increase the denoise. Don't be afraid to just punch in the denoise, it's okay. Just don't overdo it, sometimes it can really ruin your color grade. So now we, what we're gonna do is go to curve tab, go to the hue versus hue, press on the cyan and the blue tab, and just bring up the blue just a little bit. Pull down the cyan just a tad bit. Yeah, I like it like this. Now what we're gonna do is just right click, add node, add parallel node. Or you can just press alternate P which achieves the same thing. Now for this second node over here, we are going to change the two greens. This green is a tiny bit more yellowish and this green is more lush green. So we're gonna change this into a more goldenish orange. So just highlight it. I'll do it manually just to get the exact thing. Okay, I think this looks good. So what we're gonna do now is just go to curve tab, go to hue versus hue again. Press on yellow and green. Actually, just yellow. And just bring up the yellow a little bit. Now you can see there's some reddish look on it, so we're just gonna press on the red again and just bring down the red just a tiny bit. Just remove the red. And now it looks really nice already. I mean, probably it's not rich enough in color for me, so I'm just gonna bring up the saturation just a tiny bit. 60 should be better. Yeah, 60. Like it like this. Alright. Now for this third one, we're gonna adjust the green. We're gonna go to qualify tab and do the same thing and highlight the greens. And usually I like my greens to be sort of a bluish tone. So it kind of blends in together with the clip. So what I'm gonna do is just reduce my saturation and we're gonna go to the color wheel tab, primary wheels and just bring the gain a little bit to the blue, a little bit on the offset. Yeah, this nice. And as you can see, like it sort of looks weird on the ground over here. So what we're gonna do, go back to qualifier tab and just denoise the hell of it. Now it looks good. So this is how you achieve the orange and teal look in WG Resolve 16. So right now I'm gonna show you the comparison shot of the original clip and the color graded clip. So if you guys enjoy this video, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you soon in the future. Bye bye!